Hey guys, Chris here. So once again, you join me here with Tesla Bjorn. Yo, what's up? <laughs> and as you can see, we have the Polestar 2. And for a lot of you guys, you guys have been waiting for this. I'm not gonna have this car before another few weeks, but you guys have been waiting for the Polestar 2. And we're gonna do a range challenge test between this and the Audi e-tron, but not my Audi e-tron, actually a Sportback Bjorn. Yeah. Yeah. The most efficient e-tron. Yeah. <laughs> it even has the virtual mirrors, which I think are terrible, but it should make the car more efficient. So, yeah, he's gonna just gonna top up uh, charging because, well, Audi have the best batteries in the business, I think. So, I yeah. was finished <laughs> charging maybe about three hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll be finished soon. Yeah. So. About 91% now. <laughs> so you want to take a bet who's going to win today? I think you might win by 10 minutes. Okay. But I'm more experienced driver. Maybe I can inch in five yeah. minutes. Yeah, we'll see. So I don't think the Volvo and Polestar people on my channel are going to like what you just said, but <laughs> I think that is the reality. So guys, we'll see you on the road. Okay, so we're still waiting for Bjorn to top up here. I think he's got some food. Wait, turn on the ignition. So, you got some food and some drinks? Yes. Waffles are amazing. So, I'm just going to I'm just going to talk a bit to the guys and just give them I forgot to tell you guys where we're going and the distance. So, I'm just going to tell you guys that when I close the window. <laughs> so, where we're going today is we are going from Oslo, Circle K Fudeset, to Lillesand in southern Norway to the Ionity Charger there in, uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's in Lillesand along the motorway and then we're going back. So according to the app, I'm going to find this for you guys. This should take about 7 hours and 25 minutes with charging. So. There's this app or this web page called a better route planner, which you can, you know, punch in what type of car you have, what type of EV, starting point, any detours, and then your end point. And it will calculate when and how much you have to charge to get there as quickly as possible. So according to this app, we should be able to go all the way to that charger, 309 kilometers, charge up, have 13% battery when we get there, top up to 97% and then we should be able to get back here but this car has the big wheels 21 inch winter tires and it also has the s-line exterior package meaning it's more sporty maybe less aerodynamic but it has the virtual mirrors making it more aerodynamic and it's also the sport pack making it more aerodynamic so I'm not sure because most of this trip is motorway. I mean, out of 309 kilometers, I think about 240 maybe is, 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 is motorway. And we will be doing about 120 kilometers an hour most of that uh, stretch. So I'm not sure we will be able to drive efficient enough actually to get there to that Ionity charger. Yo, what's up? What's up? That is <laughs> that is really noisy now from your car. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's so silent and uh, tranquil in here. It's so quiet. I could just fall asleep. <laughs> well, I have Swedish quality. Yeah, okay. That's that's true. That's true. <laughs> so we're about uh, halfway to Lelisan now. Yes. What is your consumption? 210. 230. Oh. But I've been drafting yeah, yeah, behind yeah. you heavily, so... Uh... 
So that might be the reason why it's so uh, not not too far off the pole star. So what's your? Uh, Maybe you should, go in. should I go in front? <laughs> yeah, you can go in front now. How yeah. many? How much battery do you have left? Fifty-four percent. Sixty. Oh shit! <laughs> ah, the difference is six now. It was yeah. three earlier. So uh, is that heat loss? Yeah, at high speed. Yeah. I will calculate once I get to Lillesand. But I have Google estimates three percent at arrival now. Three so percent. Wow. Yeah. Scheiße. Mm -hmm. What about? Oh yeah, you don't have it, but um. No, uh, but I have uh, yeah. more than enough. I have, uh, let's see, 160 kilometers to, to go. I have 206 uh, kilometers of range left. So, uh, yeah. Okay, you go first. Then. Okay, yeah. I'll go first. <laughs> I will drop behind him now a little bit. But very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. We've now been on the road for three hours. We've got 44 minutes to go left and 65 kilometers left till we hit that Ionity Charger in Les Lesans, the turning point. And the real challenge is, well, will we both be able to get there on one charge? And if we will be able to get there, I'm going to win because I've got the e-tron with longer range. So, we're going to hit up Bjorn and see what his status is. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? So, how's uh, thing yeah. how, how's things going in the uh Polestar? Yeah, so far so good. I have uh, 198 consumption. Oh, 220 I've got. Oh, 10% more roughly. Yeah, okay. so not not too bad. But the big question is, how much uh, battery do you have uh, left now? 29%. 34. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. so you closed the gap uh, a little, but not uh, too much. Yeah. Will you be able to hit the charger in Lillesand or will you not be able to get there? No problemo. Uh, now oh. Google estimates 9% at arrival. Wow, interesting. Yeah. 9%. So the race is still on. Okay, so Bjorn is there, he's in a rush. I also probably am in a rush, but I'm not going to rush. I'm going to try to... Uh... <laughs> I'm going to try to make this app work. It never works, so scan QR code. Let's go ahead and do that. Log in and proceed. So I have to log in and press my password, very nice. Done, log in. Okay, successful. This app is so stupid, this Ionity app. I mean, this is the worst app. Select payment method. Yes, active, okay. And then continue. Really? You have to put in all your card information. There. Okay. And now it's ready, hopefully. Initializing, okay, and then I have to put the charger here. Let's go ahead and do that one-handed So it says communicating with the vehicle I mean, yeah, you should use an RFID chip, right? I haven't gotten the chip yet 
So I should be able to do this without too much hassle. But there are so many steps on this app, I own the app compared to all the other apps that it just takes too long. It's just a stressful thing to go through. I don't know why they do it this way, but yeah, and it takes forever communicating with vehicle. It's white, blinking white. Yeah, green. We are actually charging, my God. Amazingly, first go. Yes, nice. First go, huh? Wow. This that. is crazy. 129. 130. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to check, check, check the state of charge, but maybe 17% I had when I started because I was at 18 just yeah. like not far too long ago. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're at 19% now, 132, and that's the beauty of this car. We're going to check what Bjorn's speed is. And let's see. 122 at 60 that's not too bad that's not too bad at all so we've been driving for about almost four hours so his car and his battery is yeah should be warmed up that's why he's getting really good speed 122 isn't bad bad at all at 16 percent maybe how, how high will this climb 150 uh, no it will just drop now it was at 130 it was okay so it's it peaks really low yeah yeah what the heck <laughs> I, I was getting 130. yeah you're 123 now Shit. and yours is just going to increase now yeah i think mine is now at 135. yeah mine's okay. just going to increase to we're going to hit 150 at around uh, 30 40 percent and we're going to have that speed up until about 80 percent so if we had 17 percent when we arrived we should be able to be good with about 90 let's see 95 percent 90 percent 85 percent but people in Bjorn's live stream have been saying that we have had a headwind no uh, tailwind so we might have a headwind on the way back <laughs> yeah so we'll we'll have to see how much juice we put into the battery but I think Okay, so Bjorn's a bit stressed because we uh, he he started charging one minute before me, and he's now out at forty nine percent, charging at eighty three kilowatts. I'm at sixty two percent, charging at one fifty. I'm at max speed. So uh, he's going to his. I don't know. His, this Polestar two is so sensitive to temperature. His battery pack is now cold. Um, he's not getting any speed at all, so his his strategy is to just uh, charge for a bit more here and then go to the next charger. I'm going to charge maybe to 90-95% and then uh, we'll go. Then we'll have enough juice to get all the way back to Oslo. But we have to take into consideration that if we had tailwind this way, we have headwind the other way. So maybe I'll just take a chance and go to 100%. Bjorn is getting ready to leave, guys. Okay, 92%. I'm gonna stop charging now. So we will go ahead and hit the button here. That should turn white. And then we should be able to go one more time. Thank you very much. And then, guys, we are not far behind Bjorn. He is about, oh, where is he now? might not be too far but i think this would this race is still on Let's try calling Bjorn. I see he has stopped. See if he answers the phone. 
Yo. Yo, 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 I can see you have stopped, Bjorn. Yes, yes, uh, I'm a bit busy. Can I call you back? Okay, okay, bye bye. Alright, I'll have to shoot video. Alright, bye. <laughs> okay, so Bjorn is really taking this serious. I think he really wants to win this challenge, but he has stopped. He is charging. Um, he's betting on that I have to charge one more time. But as it looks now, we're still in the green. We have 193 kilometers to go. We have 226 kilometers of range. That gives us a surplus of 33 kilometers. Um, battery state is at 61%. And as I said, we have 193 kilometers to go. That should be good. We should be good. But soon the rest of the way, rest of the road is only motorway. So that, you know, will raise our consumption. But I have a plan B. I have a trick up my sleeve if we don't have enough range. Okay, so we just hit a patch of motorway and then we have one patch of non-motorway and then motorway the rest of the way. But we are now closing in on Bjorn because I can see a Circle K sign up here and I can see him here on the Glimpse app. And guys, we are now passing Bjorn. So I think we're gonna win this race, finally. It's only our second race, guys, but winning is winning and there is Bjorn running, he saw me. Oh, I saw him running with the camera, my God. Okay, so we are in the green. Okay, so some stats. 210 kilometers of range left, 185 kilometers to go. Bjorn isn't in his car, he's charging. What speed is he charging at? Who the heck knows? And I have a trick up my sleeve if we, we run out of juice. I mean, if this is really, really close, this is really, really close, but if we just don't have enough juice to go the rest of the stretch to Circle K food set, we have one last trick, but I'm not sure we need to use that trick. So guys, this just turned into a very interesting race. Hello, Bjorn. Hi, yo. Yo, yo. <laughs> I had to charge and I was only getting 110 kilowatts again. Okay, okay, so not the battery isn't uh, hot enough? Not warm enough? Yeah, not hot enough. Yeah, cold gate again. So that means you didn't charge to go all the way to Circle K or do you have enough juice? No, no yeah. way. I have to charge one more time. And oh, Scheiße. Uh, Scheiße. I think I have enough juice. Really? Yes. Are you sure about that? Ah, might be. Okay, because I have, let's see, I have 54% battery left. Okay. And then we have 170 kilometers to go. Yeah, I think I have oh, enough. No. Huh? It must be more than that. 170 only. 170, yes. 170. So I. If I have to charge again, I can hit the fast charger at Hervik, for example. I can just oh, charge yeah. two minutes and then bam. Ugh. Yeah, so oh, well. I think I won, but I might have problems with a charger. You never know, right? Yeah, I never know. Yeah, I never know. But um, I think I will. I think I'm going to be able to go all the way on this charge. I'm going to try oh, at well, least. Well, how many percent did you charge to? 92. 92, okay, it was 92, right. Yeah. Well, interesting. Yeah, let's see. Let's see then. Yeah? So, uh, how much battery do you have left now? Uh, 44%. Oi, 44, yeah, you don't have enough, no. Yeah. I think you're only about four minutes behind me. Yeah. But I need to charge at least 10 more minutes. Ooh. Plus the detour and the handshake and the crap. Yeah. So the, 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 over, the overhead already is at least three, four minutes. 
Yes. For me. So maybe I can stop uh, by a McFlurry at McDonald's. Just. <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny if uh, suddenly your e-tron gets a hiccup and you can't unlock the door. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. The, it's been solid so far, so you know it's yeah. the Deutsche Qualität, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Versus Swedish Chutbullar. Yeah, yeah. Vorsprung durch Qualität. Okay, well, good luck, Bjorn. I'll talk to you a bit later then. So. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Finally, we arrived here at Circle K Food Set, and that was a nerve wrecking ending because I had 2% battery left when I came here to Circle K Food Set, nine kilometers of indicated range on the trip computer. And I've talked to Bjorn a few times. And guys, if you're not subscribed to Bjorn's channel, go ahead and click the link in the video in the video down below to see Bjorn's version of this vid, uh, this challenge and also go uh, subscribe to his channel he's one of the best if not the best EV YouTuber out there gives you guys really uh, amazing information that you won't find anywhere else but I arrived with 2% 9 kilometers left and I was talking to Bjorn a few times if I should stop and charge in Hervik or maybe I could stop in Grelland just to get a little more juice, but I was determined that my calculations were correct, or my calculations, my estimations were correct, that I would be able to uh, come to this station with only charging 92%. And yeah, we managed it, guys, with 2% battery left. And yeah, that was a bit nerve-wracking. In the end, I drove without the any climate control on, just the heater off. And was just drafting behind as many cars as possible. That was crazy. But we've ch been charging here because I had to really, really take a pee after four hours in the car. And yeah, we're charging really fast now. We have cold temperatures, 8 degrees outside. 141 kilowatts at 18%. That is amazing, guys. And that's the best thing about this car is just how fast... It achieves maximum charging speed and actually how long it keeps maximum charging speed. So that's my consumption from the trip up and down 22.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, I think I was 15 minutes later, right? 13. 13. Yeah, about 13, maybe 14. I timed you. But I had 17% left. 17? You want to guess how much battery I had left when I arrived? No. Two. <laughs> All the lights were flashing. YOLO. All limp mode. <laughs> All the modes. That that was crazy. That was crazy. So, yeah. yeah. Well, the annoying part was that when I charged... Okay, so I charged with 35% yeah. last place. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I calculated that 30% should be enough with some margin. Yeah. But when, when I was at... So I could charge at 25 and I would still make it here with 7%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But at 25%, the car told me, no, 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 you will arrive with 0%. No, you can't make it. Hmm. Software. Yeah, don't trust the Polestar software. So, Not yet. The, but, it needs an update. Yeah, but I bet the route planner was yeah. correct. Hmm. So I bet the route planner estimated I would be 10 minutes behind. Yeah. If I charge lower, 
I would be 10 minutes yeah, behind. Yeah, you would. <laughs> and if you didn't have issues, you had issues with one charger also, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that's crazy. That's just what I said. I, I estimated that you would be here about 10 minutes when I stopped. I saw how far you were away. Yeah. 10 minutes. That's crazy. So a better route planner, guys. It doesn't work on iPhone. It works on Android, but you can use the... Uh, Go to the URL in your web browser. But guys, this was an amazing challenge. Thanks a lot, Bjorn. And uh, I've already said it, but I'm going to say it again. Check out Bjorn's version of this video in the description down below. It will be linked. And go ahead, subscribe to his channel. So guys, if you enjoyed this type of video, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And for more car content like this, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye. Bye.